You may be asking, why am I packing heat? We're going fishing, right? Well, there's two things I know about this place. We've been here before. The two things are there's really big fish in this place, and there's also really big alligators. Gator, giant gator. Oh my god. Dude, gator, gator, right there. <laughs> Oh my god, we're gonna die. <laughs> Where are you? Oh god! Okay, I'm backing up. That was scary. Shoot it! Oh my god! Shoot it! Here she is. We're back, baby. We turned that corner up there. Did you see that like alley? It was just like covered yeah, in I like told, lily pads. I told him I was like, that looks gatory. I was like, I want to throw a frog in that. And then I just saw the head of an alligator pop up and just goes like, Ooh. And just like took off. Sticking with the theme of golf course ponds, Drew and I got permission to uh, bow hunt on a golf course in Atlanta. And we actually got permission on another golf course. We're here in South Georgia. Uh, abandoned golf course and it's got this crazy like system of canals and like big kind of reservoirs it all kind of connect and interlock it's it's actually really cool when you look at it on a map we came here a couple years ago and we caught two two really big fish there's a lot of fish in here and we had some really really close calls with uh, some alligators so that's definitely going to be i've already we already saw one coming in it's definitely going to be an issue but the manager of this property has one rule like literally one rule bring a gun because there are tons of gators here, and that's the only rule. I will fire shots at a gator. Pack, heat. pack, 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 pack a gun. Pack, pack, heat. pack some heat. So we're not playing. I'm, I'll fling some. I'll, if a gator comes at me, I'll fling some. I'm not going to actually shoot at it, but if one comes at me, I'm going to fling some lead downrange at it. We're like, we're like right on the coast of Georgia. Um, it's mid-February right now, and these bass usually spawn at like 65 degrees, so there's probably going to be a lot of fish pushing up on beds. It's like 75 right now, um, so who knows? I mean, we might see some big bass on beds. I hope that we see big bass on bed because I remember the last time we were here, we caught two fish that were probably eight pounds each, and we saw one swimming around that was like a double digit for sure. Dude, look at all those birds. All right, here we go. Woo! Gator! Right where we just launched! Dude, that we were right there. Where are you? Oh, what? I came back for it. Oh yeah, first one of the year, baby. Got her back. Maybe. She's not huge, but I'll take her. Yes! Yeah, baby, number one. It's a freaking tank, too. Way to start it off. Oh, God! Huh. Gator, giant gator. Oh my God. Oh my god, dude, that thing is huge. <laughs> you see him? Yeah. Are you freaking out? <laughs> that thing turns towards me. I'm a, I'm a loading my whole magazine on it. Oh my god! That was legit the biggest one we've seen out here. Hands down. And your boys hooked up. I've got you on numbers. Yeah, well, are we fishing for numbers or a size? How many have you caught? Maybe like five or six. I have it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got something that I can kind of punch into these weeds a little bit, a little bit better now. That chatter bait is just getting hung up every cast. Hopefully, get a big fish. But fishing out of a kayak definitely makes this kind of fishing way more challenging. Jeez. Sorry, buddy. 
I might have put a little bit too much horsepower behind that one. On the topper, baby. Ooh, I might have you on the best fish. It's not saying much. I mean, that's the biggest one I've caught today. Dude, I don't know what the deal is, but I'm just getting little rats. Oh, oh, good fish. Good fish. Stay down, stay down, stay down. Come on, come on. You're right. He's got a bass in his mouth. It's either a bass or a brim. Oh yeah. Look how fat this thing is. Finally, first decent fish of the day. We've been catching just cookie cutter, pound, pound and a half fish. Whoa but this one just choked a chatterbait. And look at this in its throat. I haven't pulled it out yet, but it's either a, a big bluegill or a baby bass, just like Lee was saying. It almost looks like a crappie, whatever it is. That's like a eight inch fish that he swallowed. And that's a healthy fish right there. I guess I'm in the lead. <laughs> Something's gotta happen because we're running out of daylight and I'm down big time. That ain't what we're looking for. I ain't giving up. That's not my big one. That's not a bad one. Man, that thing thumped it, and I thought it was the one. Right here, about the same time last year, I caught like an eight or nine pounder on that same exact cast. And I've probably caught 20 or 30 fish today, but apparently not the right one. But I still got a little time. Victory's mine. No, no, no. <laughs> I think we probably should head back soon before it gets dark. I think you we know? just keep fishing. Oh, oh, it's a big one! Son of a oh. Dude, that fish is so fat. I'm getting enough of this. Oh. Nope. Nope. That <laughs> That's the one I was looking for! Come here! Oh. No. Get him, dude, get him! Yes, sir, baby! Oh my gosh. Woo! <laughs> oh. My god. <laughs> Look at that thing. God, that was so sick. I'm still shaking. <laughs> Go back and get a little bit bigger for us, buddy. Woo! I'd say that'll uh, that'll close out the day for us. What do you think? That's just day one. Day one? I say we head back in. Try not to get eaten by an alligator in the dark. And uh, be back at it tomorrow. Y'all can head in, I'm good. Come on! No! I'm not done. Don't, this tournament's still on. It's still day one. Dude, Dana, Dana, right there! <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to the air in the water. <laughs> Two day tournament. We're making this up on the fly. There you go, changing the rules. Two day tournament, Drew definitely fashion. won day number one. He caught like a, for sure a four plus. Yeah, four plus. And a fish plus, that probably. was definitely a six plus. Tons of numbers, lots of small fish. The two fish you caught were really healthy looking. Yeah, it's like there's no in between. You're, we're yeah. catching these little skinny fish and then all of a sudden we hook up just a fatty yeah. and they look perfect. But they were definitely like pretty lethargic today. They were yeah. not just like killing it. 
but I mean, tomorrow's supposed to be good too, good weather wise. We've only explored about half of this place. This place is a freaking maze. Um, so we're gonna come back tomorrow, pick up where we left off, and hopefully I catch a bigger fish than you. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> be sure to sub to our channel. We're doing a really big giveaway. It's like a twenty to $30,000 giveaway, brand new bass boat. We're gonna drive it to whoever, whoever wins house. So be sure to sub to our channel if you don't already, because that's coming up in the coming weeks. And with that being said, let's pick up with tomorrow morning. Alligator infested waters, day two. Headed back to that same little bay where we caught the two bigger fish last night. Already spotted two giant gators over there flying the drone around this morning. Lee's already out there. Hoping to find a bigger fish today. I know this place has double digits in it. It's day two and I have got some catching up to do. I've already seen like three alligators this morning. I think that Drew and I are getting a little dialed sort of on what these fish are eating. I think they're eating something that's real dark, whether it's like a crappie or a really dark bluegill or baby bass, I don't know what it is, but I'm looking for a big bite. I caught a bunch of fish yesterday and that was fun, but I'm looking for a big bite. Day two, I gotta beat, I gotta beat six pounds. Not, not it. I'm gonna stick with it. I think I'm gonna put a frog back on, like a small popping frog. It is so, it's so bad. I've been, oh my gosh. Yeah, that little, little corner back here. I'm, I'm like, I'm, oh, oh, okay, you can have it back. Ready? Yep. Not the best throw I've seen. It's kind of funky how this grass comes out right here. If I was a fish, I'd be on that. <laughs> I knew it. Oh. Oh. See that? <laughs> yes. It's the first one I've actually landed on the popper. Ooh, new species. I've hit the South Georgia Grand Slam. That's a big bluegill. That might be a bigger fish, dude. Dude, what is this? Holy crap, dude, this is not a bass. It's a freaking like bowfin or something. You seen these before? Guys, I don't know what this is. I think that's a bowfin. I don't think that's a snakehead. If, if, if y'all know what this is, leave a comment. Hey, you missed this one. <laughs> Did you put a froggy on? You can't tell me there's not a bass in here that would come eat a frog. Yeah! Yeah, baby! Yes! Yeah! Woo! Oh, that was so satisfying. I'll give you three more casts and then we're calling it. Okay. Did you see that? <laughs> that, was a good, that was a good first cast. You got two more after that. I see where my last cast is going to be. You're not going to like it. This is where they are, my boy. Oh gosh. Yep. Ooh. It probably is. <laughs> if that was a big one on the spinning rod, that'd have been interesting. You can't just, you don't just get one cast wherever you want. You can't just go paddle back to the, the lunker hole. It's another victory. I think I've won like, Two out of three tournaments so far of our fishing videos. I've got a reputation to uphold as the dink snatcher, designated dink snatcher. Tell people to watch 
Hey, be sure to watch the end of this video for a giveaway. All right, guys, that's a wrap on this episode of Seek One. We got a lot of alligator encounters, a lot of fish. I think Drew and I probably caught 70 or 80 fish. Drew, congratulations, my friend. You caught a four and a six, so he gets to choose whatever lure out of my tackle box he wants. There's a, there's a gator right behind you. Oh my God. I can't. Holy shit.